Each time you type a website, a URL into your browser, and you ask to connect to some website, essentially you are connecting to another computer elsewhere. And so with the internet, the same way you would use cables to connect the devices inside your home, you run these wires from inside your home to outside to some internet provider, which then runs these cables to somebody else's home, maybe then to a business, maybe then to another home, and so forth and so on, which essentially creates this network of computer uh, connections um, from home to home, business to business, and from person to person. Your modem essentially is now the tool that allows you to connect to the wider internet community outside of your home. It's doing the same thing that the router does, only it is sending those messages and signals to back and forth from outside your home to inside your home. Now, think about all of those messages that has to be sent back and forth each time you type you know, the name of a website, for example, your modem and your router must now look for that information, must send that information somewhere, must then send you back the website. That's a lot of information going back and forth, both inside your home and outside. And if you think about the fact that your neighbor is doing the same thing and your other neighbor is doing the same thing and many persons within your community and businesses are doing the same thing, trying to access and sending information back and forth on the web. And so this is what the internet will look like for your router and your modem as it's trying to send information back and forth. It's really like a very busy highway. And so what your router or your modem will do is it will essentially try to find a roadway on this busy highway that is least congested. And it will try to send your requests and your packets of information and data on that roadway as opposed to on the busy one. So that you can pull up a website much faster when you send that request out onto the web you're able to pull up that website almost immediately because your modem and your router are working in tandem to essentially give you the information that you're looking for um, in the most effective and efficient ways. And your packets of information being sent or requested have this free space on this uh, less congested roadway to travel back and forth to and through your home, which will essentially result in, of course, a happier you and your devices um, not being frustrated by that congestion. Uh, that is all alleviated by your router and your modem on your network. Ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you enjoyed this presentation. It took me a little while to do these drawings. And so if you do like my drawings, please like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.